All right, so we're gonna go for my review here. Let's do this quick. Oh, oh man. Here, there was a ziplock in front of it. Holy cow. See that there is no face tracking on. Can it not check me? It's windy. Wet to it. I can feel the water. I need to go over here. Is it following me? No, because tracking is not on. Take this over here. So like this, right? But I have a problem now. Uh, with the water here. That's why I have a ziplock. <laughs> it's like the wind is driving the water in here. It's annoying. Okay. So, what I want to do a quick review is this thing here. See what that is? That is a power meter from Surayilek. Okay. The only thing what I need for this to run this is power because and I need to switch my focus to the showcase focus, right? Let me do this quick. Active track is enabled now much better. But so this is the focus now. The focus is now set to product focus. Right? There's no way it should go. I know my face is behind it. But look at this. When I click the button, you can see data from previous measurements. Absolutely. I don't know if the audio is messed up because of the loudness of the rain. Crazy. Let me see if I have power. Oh, I could, no, my power cord is not long enough. So it's too wet. Here, yeah, I have to take this whole thing inside. So, okay, I see you inside. Wait, right, you cannot believe that I couldn't find an extension cord for this. But this is the box, how it looks like the box is a very simple paper box with almost nothing in it except a little manual sheet, plastic bag, you know, the usual thing. Um, looks cheap. It comes with a little tiny plastic bag with this tool in it. It's like a tool with a little poker. You see this little poker. So this is meant to reset this. Okay, so if you click on it, it has an internal battery where it can memorize stuff. For example, I had my dehumidifier run for one day and 27 minutes, and it used up 11 kilowatt hours. That is basically the same what it said in the app that comes with the dehumidifier. It also says it takes 10 kilowatt hours a day, and that cost me here with my uh, energy prices um, two dollars a day. Okay, so that is 30 days, 60 dollars for uh, running a dehumidifier in your house. Crazy nuts. So, okay, here this tool. Take a close up look. So the data was there. You see when I click on it, you see the data from my previous day, right? Now, there's a little reset thing here right now. I'm going to push this in here. And you can see, you can plug this in super far deep in. It's so deep. You push on it. You see how the letters go weird and then they go back to normal. That's when you did the reset. And then get this little rubber plug back out here. 
That's how this goes. Now it's reset. Eh? All the numbers are zero. Okay. No. Do never, ever, ever use this tool to plug it into one of those prongs in your outlet. You're going to die from that. Don't do it. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in here. Here on the bottom, but I don't know where. Any of them. Right, we plug it in. And now we can see. I have to lift this up a little. There's no power. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. Then the background light turns on. And it shows that I have 120 volts. But I'm not using any power, so I would have to plug something in here to use a power. Of course, I have nothing. Nothing I have. Here. I have something here. Oh. Boys and girls. What do I have here? I have here a Samsung power brick that charges my laptop. Okay, I'm going to plug that in. Let me see if it pulls any amps. Yes. Point 0.3 amps. It does 29 watts. Okay, so over time you can measure things here, right? You can switch the stuff around. Oh, what we have now, the cost is zero because the cost per kilowatt is not set. So after you, you reset this thing and it calculates costs, it also takes away the saved cost. When you put the cost in there, how much a kilowatt is, the number goes away, right? In order to set this, you push the unit price button here, the UP button, and hold it for three seconds. When you do, you see it's uh, blinking. <coughs> okay, so we are here at 19 cents. Look at that, 19 cent. Enter. So now this unit knows that your electricity is 19 cents a kilowatt. Different providers have different prices, of course. So that's what the cost is here where I am. Now, if you then take like your laptop charger, plug this in here, and it's charging here. Voltage, how many amps, how many watts, or the total thing here, right? It measures how long is this running, how many minutes, how many days, hours and minutes and days, right? And then it does how many kilowatt hours and how much this cost. So keeping your laptop charged for a month, for example, you can have it sit here for 10 days and then do this times three, or you have it every day times 30. You know, when you do 24 hours, then times 30, then you know how much it costs to charge your laptop all the time. That kind of thing, you know. Or other things, like my dehumidifier, as we had at the beginning of the video. All right, so I hope you like this. Um, this is what this device is here. Sura, Surai Elec, a watt meter, 90 to 250 volts it shows, from 0 seconds to 1000 days, 10,000 days, I'm sorry, from 0 amp to 16 amp, that's the max, 16 amp max, and the price can do from 0 dollars per kilowatt hours to 100 dollars per kilowatt hours, Total cost is up to 10,000 kilowatt hours and $10,000. That's the max on those things here. And um, this is how it looks like. The background uh, light only works when it's connected to power. Yeah. If you're in power, then you see here the background light. Let me turn my light off here. Then you see it better, right? 
I have more lights to turn off. Okay. See, the background light goes away. It only works when it's plugged in and when you push a button. Right? While you push the button, the background light is on. After a while it goes away that it doesn't keep you awake at night. And uh, I hope I see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this little device. It can help you find out what in the electricity bill is killing you. What device in your house uses the most power and can you avoid it or do something about it. First you need to know who is the one needing so much power.